much as sister. The people formed family so that they could have this trust within the family compound. If you had this sense of loyalty, you could combat the invaders. As much as sister. The people formed family so that they could have this trust within the family compound. If you had this sense of loyalty, you could combat the invaders. As much as sister. The people formed family so that they could have this trust within the family compound. If you had this sense of loyalty, you could combat the invaders. Needed as much as sister. The people formed family so that they could have this trust within the family compound. If you had this sense of loyalty, you could combat the invaders. Needed as much as sister. The people formed family so that they could have this trust within the family compound. If you had this sense of loyalty, you could combat the invaders. So there it is, folks. That is the grand purpose of all this mafia stuff. That was the clip. Very short clip that inspired me to make this whole little series of Godfather clips, mafia, and so forth all leading up to that main point. That's something that I was not quite aware of and find it very interesting, definitely applicable to our situation in the West. Why did the Mafia start? What was the whole purpose of the Mafia? The whole purpose of it all and how it arose was because of foreign invasion. That's the bottom line. As it said it, Al Pacino in the beginning of this clip, in this little interview, I guess, he's talking about the real mafia and how it came to be in Sicily. And as it said in the beginning there, it was because of so much foreign invasion. Sicily, unbeknownst to me, has a major history of being invaded by foreigners. I didn't know it had been invaded so much. There was a long list you could see of all of all the invasions that happened against Sicily. And they were ruled by lots of different foreign powers because of that constant invasion and constant threat of foreign rule. That's why the mafia came to be. Very, very interesting, right? Basically, the Sicilian Mafia saw that their government or military or whatever was either unequipped um, or just failed to protect them. whether the whether the their own government was just incapable or whether they were kind of a traitorous government one way or the other the the people saw that the government their own 
powers that be, military, we're not protecting them. And so that's why the mafia is formed, basically to protect themselves against foreign invasion. And just like Al Pacino says there, they, <clears throat> they couldn't trust their government, essentially. They didn't know who to trust. Because I think the, I think there was a history there of their, their government um, selling them out. Um, and not serving them as they should. So rightfully so, the people didn't trust their government because they weren't getting protected by them. So just like Al Pacino says, they had to form families which were close circles of people that they knew they could trust and they knew were on their side. They knew we're going to protect them, protect each other. People that they knew would fight for each other. That's what it was all about. Very similar to our situation. So that's why I bring this whole topic up. So the Sicilian Mafia origins basically came to be... Um, for the purpose of protection from invaders when the government failed or betrayed them. These close circles, these families, enabled them to combat the invaders, just like Al Pacino says. These tight-knit groups that they knew they could trust, they were loyal to each other. Sicilians, that enabled them to combat these foreign invasions. Loyalty is what enabled them to combat these invasions. Isn't that something? When, when, when the government was, when they left it to the government, the government either couldn't defend them or didn't want to, too much division. But these small groups of people of men that were completely united and loyal to each other was what gave them the power to combat and defend against invasions. Very interesting. So it was defense against enemies, internal and external. They recognized there were all these external invasions coming. And they also recognized that their internal powers that be could very well be against them as well. They were a problem as well. So they didn't know. They were experiencing invasions and attacks externally and internally. So they couldn't just rely on their country. They had to form tight knit groups of their own countrymen hand selected. That was what enabled them to a small, relatively small group of men enabled them to successfully combat invasions. All it took was uniting, even a very small, select group of people. Very interesting. That's that's why the whole mafia came to be. It was protection from foreign invasion. So I think that's a noble purpose. We can all agree. That's a righteous purpose. They said enough is enough. We're going to do what we got to do to protect ourselves and our families. For literal families, the families of their trusted countrymen and the like. Absolutely a noble, righteous purpose. So... I think there are some things to learn from the Mafia. 
So basically the mafia, they did some things right and they did some things wrong. And that's what I wanna just make a final commentary on here. I think we can, we should learn from the successes of the mafia and their failures. Obviously we're in the West, Westerners are facing the same situation, foreign invasion. We have foreign invasion all around us. We've experienced foreign invasion for longer than most people are aware of. And the foreign invasion is so advanced that all the foreigners are here. And people just take it for granted that it's just the way the West is. It's just the way America is. No, that's totally invaded um, and conquered countries. So we are living in invasion under foreign rule, under foreign conquest every single day for since before we all we were all born. So we have the same situation as old Sicily, constant foreign invasion, internal and external, and internal is some of the worst, some of the most problematic for us. What's the solution? Form a tight knit group of people that we can trust. Because we all know there are far too many white anti-whites, far too many traitors amongst our own. How do we know who to trust? Well, those that are white positive, those that are truly on our side are the only ones we can trust. So we form small groups of whites that are white positive. Not just white, but white positive. Cannot be a traitor. Uh, you know, we've had traitors in all of our history. In Sicily, no exception. There were traitors there too in, in their governments among their own people that did a lot of damage to them from within. Problem that we've had in all of our countries throughout all of our history. It's a big problem that we must get over to have a future. So, what are the things the Mafia did right? And talking about the Sicilian Italian Mafia. You know, there are other Mafias, um, Western and non-Western, but just use Sicily as an example here. And my last name happens to be Sicilian, Lentini. I got that from my grandfather, Sicilian. Actually is Sicilian. And Lentini is the name of a town actually in Sicily, kind of like Corleone in The Godfather. So I got a little bit of similarity there. Um, I got some Sicilian in me, but most of my Italian is Northern Italian. That's why I'm light, um, light haired and fair skinned um, because of the Northern Italian mountain influence. That's where my grandmother uh, hails from her her history and um, she's uh, like me, light skin, blonde hair and so that's who I take after genetically is my grandmother, Italian also but northern. Uh, but she married my grandfather uh, who was Sicilian, dark haired, you know, tan skin as Sicilian looking as can be. Um, I didn't take much after him genetically, but I got the name. So Sicilian last name, Northern Italian, genetically mostly, and then uh, about a quarter Scott, Scottish from my mother's side, which is, which I like as well. I love it. So, what are the things the Mafia did right? 
Well, first and foremost, the Mafia the, the biggest thing, the number one thing the Mafia did right, the Sicilian Mafia is they put their blood and family above all trust and loyalty above, above all their blood above all that was the biggest thing that they did right secondly they really understood power dynamics and, and uh, the game of power um, and strategies to build an empire and so forth um, they understood the, the realities and like I made in the one video, fear is stronger than love. It's a, you know, it's kind of an unpleasant reality, but it is reality. They understood this. They accepted it. Said, look, it's just the way things are. They, they knew they had to have fear as the predominant, predominant element in their organizations to keep their organizations together. They knew if they didn't have fear, people would not obey and the organization would fall apart. The structure would fall apart. And that was one of the strengths is structure, organization. Um, that is a strength of the West, of Westerners, is organization. Everything we do is organized. The Mafia, no exception. Even though some of their endeavors were questionable, even if it was crime, they still organized it very well. So it's a hallmark of the West and a hallmark of the Mafia. They were very well organized. They had a, a very good structure. And that's one of the things that has made Western kind and Western civilization so successful. The ability to organize and have a structure. Very important. That's what made the Mafia successful. They had the top position, the Don, and down from there, underboss, consigliere, um, and capo regime and then the the soldiers below that it was just like the roman armies they modeled it after the roman army um as they say so organized just like one of the most successful militaries of our history rome uh, and the mafia worked almost as well as the roman empire on a smaller scale and some of the mafia got quite big where they controlled um, things nationwide um, that was all because of the structure and how was that structure kept intact by fear mainly you know and they had brutal methods for sure to keep that fear um, and again that was just to keep the structure intact they knew that to have for everyone to follow their superiors to follow orders they had to fear their superiors that's what made them follow orders they understood this very well fear is the strongest motivator and so that was the biggest thing they used and um, you know they they had severe consequences sometimes for people that disobeyed but I think you know the good ones try to avoid violence as much as possible, but you know they had they had they, but it definitely happened. It wasn't the only method they used, but it was a method, and they knew it was unavoidable. If it came to violence, they were not going to run away from it. But they had other tactics too. They knew when not to fight. They knew when to try to to be a fox like Carlo Gambino, try to run away from the trouble. And they knew when to be a lion and face the trouble head on. So it wasn't always straight on 
violent confrontation. Um, they tried to avoid that. Um, but it did happen at times. Um, but anyway, you know, and, and that's where some of their methods could be questionable. But again, the main thing that they, they had right is that fear was the strongest motivator. The way they instilled that fear in people, it maybe is questionable, their methods for creating that fear. But they were correct that fear is the strongest motivator, stronger than love, stronger than anything else. They did use rewards, you know, money, a lot of times to try to, you know, motivate their their people, their soldiers and so forth. Um, you know, men on the street and whatnot, uh, run, you know, running their operations and, and stuff. You know, they would, they would use positive motivation like financial incentive or other incentives. But behind all of that was always the fear that if a subordinate did not obey, then there would be severe consequences, which might be death, up to death. And that fear um, of that possibility for not obeying your superior was what really made them obey definitively and kept the structure in line. So they did understand uh, the necessity of fear to keep a structure uh, of an organization like that in place. And they understood power, the game of power very well. Um, the biggest way that they failed is by warring and um, fighting with fellow Italians, fellow Westerners, fighting with their own kind far too much. This was the big downfall of the Mafia. Just as has been the big, biggest downfall, all of Western kind. Through our history, this has always been our failure. And it's a big failure. This is what has crippled us to the sad state that we're in today. Fighting amongst ourselves, warring amongst our own kind. The Italian Mafia, big time failure. They fought far too much with other Italian families or what have you, and or maybe just other Western families, you know, Irish was involved in the Mafia too, quite a bit. They did not see themselves as the same if they were of a different nationality or even if they were, you know, maybe a different family, even fellow Italians. Um, big time mistake. They definitely did not see other Westerners as the same. Italians and Irish, for example, both involved in the Mafia, they definitely did not look at each other as the same. Big mistake. You know, the Italians, they looked at it as, you gotta be Italian. And that was okay to an extent. But then they took it too far. It was much too narrow. They looked at it as you have to not only be Italian, but you have to be just in this close, our close group, our family, much too small of a circle that they viewed as their own. And then other Italians outside their families, like in The Godfather, they looked at them as enemies even though they knew deep down they were brothers, fellow Italians. 
So their scope of who was their own, who was their family, was much, much, much too narrow. It was microscopic compared to what it should be. Not only should they, should they have looked at all Italians, Sicilian and outside of Sicily, as brothers, they should have looked at Irish and all Westerners as brothers, as absolute blood brothers, as much as their family, basically. They had this very narrow view that an Italian would look at an Irish mafia and say, completely different, when in fact, they're the same should have looked at them as just as close as if they were within their own personal family, for example. So the view of their own, much, much too narrow, and most of the people they were at, at war with were their own kind, fellow Westerners. They did so much damage to their own people. They used their power and their strength against their own kind. This has been our downfall since forever. So obviously what we need, the biggest way we need to improve on the Mafia and all of our history in the past, this applies to great militaries of the past as well, Rome, Greece, um, Germany, all the great army, armies in Europe of our past, the great generals, Napoleon, um, Alexander the Great, all very well organized. The structure was the key to their success, but all fighting much too much with fellow Westerners. A lot of those invaders of Sicily were, were Western, just the few that I looked at in that list. Far too much fighting of Westerners versus Westerners. Western nation against Western nation. Far too much of that in all of our history. That has been our biggest Achilles heel by far since antiquity. This is what has killed us in the past and is really killing us now. And we have got to get over this, folks, as we all know. So that's the biggest improvement that we need to make, is we need to look at all Westerners as like a blood brother, because they basically are, to one extent or another. So my proposal is this. Here's my offer that you cannot refuse. I want you to join this new Mafia that corrects the mistakes of the old Mafia. This is the White Well-Being Mafia. So I'll leave you with that. Welcome to the White Well-Being Mafia. This is a Mafia that is bigger than any before. It's A mafia of the entire United West. All of Western kind are brothers and sisters. So this is the biggest expansion, the biggest mafia the world has ever known. All the West as one mafia. And obviously this mafia has a great purpose to ensure the well-being of Western kind. And we use um, primarily words as our tools and weapons of defense. Um, however, we are prepared to defend ourselves by any means necessary should uh, in accordance with attacks that may come our way. And that's it. That's, that's the final message for now.
That's what we need. I love you all. God bless each and every one. Stay strong. Long live the West. And welcome to the White Wellbeing Mafia.